Alright, gonna show examples of pagan heathen idolatry in the satanic occult religion of Talmudic Judaism. You see, Talmudic Judaism is not the biblical religion of the Holy Torah. It's a pagan occult Babylonian mystical religion mixed in with some Old Testament truth. But they mix in a lot of pagan traditions like the Talmud and the Kabbalah and all kinds of other occultic Illuminati satanic uh, traditions. And I'm going to give a scriptural basis for this, first of all, of why Talmudic Judaism is pagan idolatry. Uh, so first let's turn to the scriptures. Two verses I'm going to read real quick. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Ye shall make you no idols, nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, neither uh, shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. So, setting up images of stone, okay, it's idolatry. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 4. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make yourselves molten gods, for I am the Lord your God. Okay, so there's two scriptures I wanted to just quickly read. Those are the scriptures I wanted to read to give my premise. That making images of stone and molten gods is idolatry. And I'm going to give some examples of this western wall, this wailing wall in Judaism, is it is pagan idolatry. Okay, here's the first picture I'm going to show of a Orthodox Jew. And by the way, this is not meant to be an attack on Jewish people. I want to see him get saved. But the basically doesn't change the fact that Judaism is a false religion. You see, I can support the Jewish people in the sense I want to see him get saved. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be critical of some of the pagan idolatry that is present in Israel. You see, you read Ezekiel chapter uh, 16, Ezekiel chapter 21, Ezekiel 23. You know, there's other examples in Jeremiah chapter uh, 5, Jeremiah chapter 3, Jeremiah chapter 6. I mean, it goes on. And on and on, Jeremiah 14, uh, the, the Israelites are being rebuked constantly for their pagan idolatry. There's nothing scripturally wrong with calling out the pagan idolatry of Judaism. It's not anti-Semitic. It's just simply being scripturally in line with doctrine. And here's an example of a Orthodox Jew setting up an image of stone at that wailing wall and bowing down to it. Okay, where is this in scripture? Where is the, the Western wall in scripture? It's not. It's the Babylonian mystical tradition that was added to the uh, to the list of pagan traditions in Talmudic Judaism, and his Orthodox Jew is bowing down to the Wailing Wall, just like any pagan idolater. And again, this is not an attack on Jewish people. Okay, see, supporting the Jewish people, I support them in terms of racial. Okay, I support them racially. I support their right to be there in that land, but I do not support their religion. Okay, their religion is satanic, demonic, and blasphemous. Okay, see, being Jewish does not make you saved. Okay. Believing on Jesus Christ is what makes you safe. And Judaism is an anti-Christ religion, according to Second First John chapter two, verse twenty-two to twenty-three. If you have a problem with that, if you think that's anti-Semitic, then you have a problem with the Word of God, not with me, because I'm just simply following Scripture. Okay, and this is pagan idolatry that goes on. Here's another picture of these uh, Jews, who are these Talmudic Jews who are at this this wailing wall. And isn't it fitting that one of them has the occultic star of Rempham flagged on him as he's paying, praying to this pagan idol? Okay. The six-pointed star has nothing to do with the Old Testament. It's not the Star of David. There was no Star of David in Scripture. That's a pagan idol. And it's not fit. It's pretty fitting, actually, that they have. he's wearing this pagan idol as he's bowing down to this pagan idol called the Wailing Wall. Here's the next picture of the occult Star of Rempham in front of the heathen, idolatrous Wailing Wall with a bunch of unsaved, lost, Talmudic Jews praying in front of the wall. You can call me anti-Semitic all you want. This is not in line with scripture, okay? If you are saved and born again Christian, read your Bible. Read Leviticus 26, verse 1. This is a violation of that. They are setting up an image of stone and bowing down to it, okay? You don't have a problem with me. You have a problem with the word of God. And you're upset that someone kicked your idol, okay? You see, again, I support the Jewish people, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to call out when they do something wicked. And this is wicked idolatry right here. So they're bowing down to this heathen wall. That has nothing to do with the Old Testament. And it's actually a violation of the Mosaic Law. Here's another picture of these devout Orthodox Jews, Talmudic Jews, bowing down to the Wailing Wall. Like Romans chapter 10 verses uh, 1, the forces, they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. That's just a blunt and brutal truth. If you're a saved Jew, you have a zeal for God according to knowledge. But these unsaved Jews, they have a zeal for God, but it's not according, not according to knowledge. It's according to their man-made traditions that were actually rebuked by Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 15 verses 1 through 9. So that was that picture. Here is the next picture of more idolatry uh, bowing down to this wall, which is, again, blatantly unscriptural. Where is this anywhere in the Law of Moses? Where is this anywhere in the Old Testament? Anywhere in the entire Bible? Where is this at? OK, 
Okay, why is this not mentioned in the, in the Law of Moses? Because they picked up this tradition when they were in captive by the pagan Babylonians, and they picked up all these man-made traditions, which is what Talmudic Judaism is. It's a collection of just man-made traditions. It got nothing to do with God's law. So you got more heathen idolatry at that wall. Here's the next picture of more very devout Jews who have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge, bowing down to the Wailing Wall. And they got their Torahs there. If they actually read their Torahs, they'd know that Leviticus 26 verse 1 condemns what they're doing. Here's the next picture of you know, all these devout Jews bowing down to the Wailing Wall, practicing their man unscriptural man-made idolatry. You see, they have Torahs in their hands, but if they simply read I mean, just read the book of Leviticus. Read Leviticus 26, verse 1. Read Leviticus 19, verse 4. Read Exodus chapter 20, verse 4 to 5. Read Deuteronomy chapter 5, you know, verses, uh, I think it's 5 to 6. Just many, many other scriptures condemn what they're doing. But sadly, they're following their man-made traditions. Why? Because they are have a spirit of slumber. Like I talked about in Romans chapter 11. God's given them the spirit of slumber. You know, they can be saved, but they have a spirit of slumber. They have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. And again, that's not my words. Okay, that's what Paul said in Romans chapter 10, verses 1 to 4. Okay, if you, again, if you have a problem with that, you got a problem with God's word, not with me. Now you got more examples of them actually bowing down before, not just kissing it, but actually bowing down before this unscriptural wall. Okay, and these are just a few photos. You can just go on Google and just search up Western Wall, Wailing Wall, and there's all kinds of pictures of them bowing down to this pagan idol known as the Wailing Wall. Why? Because Talmudic Judaism is not the religion of the Old Testament. Talmudic Judaism is a Babylonian mystical, Canaanite, heathenistic, you know, you can mix in Egyptian, Greco Roman, you name it, all mixed into one with a little bit of Old Testament sprinkled into it. Just like how Roman Catholicism is a heathen Greco Roman religion with a bit of New Testament sprinkled into it. Just like how Islam is Arabian lunar moon worship with a bit of Old Testament sprinkled into it. That's all it is. It's got nothing to do with the Old Testament. It's got nothing to do with the Law of Moses. Talmudic Judaism is satanic. It's unscriptural. And these are some blatant examples of that. So don't be deceived. Okay, again, I support Israel. I support their right to be there in that land, but I do not support their blasphemous Talmud, and I do not support their man-made heathen pagan idolatry and their man-made religion of Talmudic Judaism. Okay, that's not being anti-Semitic. That's being biblical. And again, if you have a problem with that, and you know, if, you, if you're if you're one of these John Hagee types, you got a problem with God's word, not with me. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.